Yo, what's cracking everybody? This uh, little segment of Grand Anarchy. I'm doing this uh, little solo. Uh, it's the energy breakdown of the week. And how I go about it is tell you about the overall signs and what characteristics they got with it. And then I break down the characteristics of the day. So tomorrow, which will be today, the video uh, will be a five slash eight days, the sixth of the 23rd, yes we know this, but five and eight day. And so it's gonna be a fire built day, it's gonna be a creative day, people might be fragile, uh, a little bit more sensitive, people might be a little bit more ballsy, you know, feelsies, you know, you, people might be more uh, rash with them, if you will. Uh, Open-minded traveling, financing, and uh, quick, quickly learning th about things, uh, and spirituality. Uh, materialism, so you might you might feel a little prone to try to spend a little pretty penny or some pretty penny or something like that. And then afterwards, I do give you a little tarot breakdown. So overall, and you take what uh, resonates with you. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't get you a person to read. You know, don't be scared. <laughs> but um, overall, it's going to be a day of structure and reviewing what satisfies the soul, what satisfies the emotions, while you're looking at, at your overall situation. You're not discombobulated, you're properly put together. You're doing your best in discernment to make sure it's not a facade and it's really your intuition that's helping you carry through through your um, emotional endeavors that will provide success and happiness um, and there, there will possibly be a time of reminiscing um, and there will be an option an opportunity to gain and see the goodness of the situation which will cause you to go into a hermit mode, to, to be reclusive, to find that specific prize that's within inside, that's within inside of you. Um, and while you're digging deep, you'll be able to find that. How do you put it? That diamond in the rough that catches your eye for success. And it will be a a. A swift journey with your head down and with passion moving forward. Okay, for June 24th, it will be a nine partial six day. So basically, uh, there will be a lot of um, antsy energy, uh, if you will. And there will also be uh, a form of adapting to things around you. You may also bug up with people, as in like getting into arguments and things of that nature, try and stay low with that, try and be the diplomat of the day. Nines um, can be people who are um, adapted to their situations, if you will. Um, like a monkey, throw, throw, throw a monkey in there. Like a monkey tinkers with things and things of that nature. And it is a monkey day. Um, so confident, optimistic, you know, strong initiative, um, also taking care of your home, take care of things around the cribbo. Um, and it could be from, you know, finally taking care of that one chore or, I don't know, planting something around your house, having a family dinner with your people, sitting down, giving your mama or daddy a call, something like that. Or, you know, family, really. Um, one to the cards. There will be a strong um, dictation on how things grow and how rapidly they grow, depending on how you move as an individual. So, if you don't, I don't know, get, don't be the tyrant when perceiving how things should grow and how fast they should grow. Because you, you see that you can move forward, and it'll take time. But moving forward, you'll have to balance a lot of things. And when you balance those a lot of things, 
you have to put in persistence and being persistent is a form of strength you have to be uh, hold to your guns you have to hold to your guns and you have to be stoic when you hold down to those strengths whenever you get irritated when things get off balance you have to use that strength to bring yourself back into realignment to see the situation and what sh what what uh attributes would help you in the situation and once you have that things become a lot more fruitful for you working and moving forward Tuesday or not Tuesday that's Friday Friday is actually a great day um, I'd say it's a great day for family and dealing with family issues and working on things working on yourself Mine is also about completion, completing things, complete things for yourself to grow. And for June 25th, we got a part one seven one partial seven day. It's a great day for teaching, great day for learning. Uh, let's see what else is there. Being diligent, capable, um, possibly competitive, but you have to watch out because seven days, you know, you can get your, you know, get shit done. You don't want to do that. So be easy on seven days. Don't go too crazy in the gym and all that fun stuff. Um, strong, strong one. Strong personality. Yeah. And it's gonna be an aggressive day. It might be in there, like uh, a tad bit of an aggressive day. Leading, but also isolation. You know, it might be a little bit more recluse that day. You might want to learn something. You might want to do some real in-depth research and things of that nature. So like, it all depends. Uh, on this day it's possible for you to see how creativity and how your passion can grow with the proper foundation behind you to help you hit all the corners you need to and it's all about working but not losing track of the project that you initially had because you could be working on something mess up and get frustrated and then you feel a certain type of way about that frustration you get guarded and you say fuck it but that's not that's not that's not how we roll you know you always have to continuously work even if it's a pain in the ass things will balance out things will most definitely balance out after you go through the trials and errors, but um, you know, it's all about not letting certain of those structures and foundations throw you off your mark. Because certain structures and foundations place things in front of you and you feel as if you have to achieve them right away. Don't, don't, don't. Run at your pace, I should say. Run at your pace. So, June 27th is a three partial, oh, my bad, the 26th is a three partial nine day. Or, I, I, wow, I wish I could edit this out. It's an 11 partial eight day. So, it's a strong self-esteem, being cautious about your surroundings. Um, not giving up, dogs are tenacious. Um, worrying about finances, emotions, uh, attraction, charisma. It can be a draining day or it can be in like an enhancing kind of day. And very, very uh, electrifying day, if you will. You either get zapped or you turn into the flash, one of the two. Um, but from what I see is that there will be a project or something that your heart feels that it needs to move forward with and it moving forward it's moving forward at the pace that you believe it should but while it's beating and you're moving at that pace you should most definitely be in discernment so that you don't run yourself into a wrong area you know and once you come with that discernment and recognize how you properly present on uh, a certain topic or an idea, some kind of a material format, and you can move forward mentally into being 
that proper authority that you need to balance out so you don't lose sight on how to properly grow and can choose to walk away from uh, you can choose to walk away from a situation that doesn't fill your heart and you can reflect there could be plenty of reflection at this moment in time as well once you've seen how fertility will play out is being discerning in how you view everything of that situation especially don't let your heart and if it's not just your heart something else if it's outside influences you have to have the strength to be able to discern instead of allowing your body to enact those actions you know surprise I turned on the light um tomorrow <laughs> The next day will be a six, uh, the sixth. Uh, wow, I sound stupid. I apologize, everybody. It's going to be uh, what you call it, June sixth. Oh my God, June is the sixth month of. And it's going to be the twenty eighth day. Goodness gracious, it's going to be a four eight day. So it's going to be an intellectual day. It's going to be an active day. It's going to be a uh, a kind. Assertiveness, uh, not assertiveness, kind, a kindness to the day, if you will. Um, look on making like some financial. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't do that. But you know, I'm not not a financial advisor. Uh, lead on something, create something, put a little structure behind something, build structure on something. You feel me? Watch out for cops. It's a great day for discipline. A great, great day for discipline. Setting down things. If you want to be a workaholic that day, run it, run it. Just work on putting it to the boots, to the ground, and run it and work it. Uh, don't try no goofy shit that day though. That's that's not a day for nobody. Mm. On this day, you will mentally be putting things to rest and picking up what you need to pick up and leaving what you don't. It is ultimately your choice. And if you want to succeed, it really will take determination, grit, and that strength to be able to walk again, to, to walk around being able to want to offer again instead of being recluse. You know, after like you offer something to somebody and they take advantage of it and you don't want to help no more, well, help, you know, take advantage of it. You know, take advantage of the opportunity of growing from that possible um, setback and view things in a stoic manner from here on out. Move things, move in a stoic way if you will. Um, and with that you will take time to become recluse and actually detangle all the webs in your head. Once you're done doing that, the illusion clears itself immediately. And it's going to be a little, it's going to be tough. You, you're going to release it. You're most definitely going to release it, but it's all up to choice. It's all on choice. If you choose to release whatever burden that is burdening you, if that's proper sentence. And for June 29th, so it will be a 5-11 day. It's a great day for being free, expressing yourselves. But don't go wild. Don't go wild. Don't go wild on that. So a hard working day, being active and being busy. Um, it, you'll probably be popular amongst your people. You know, it'll be a very social day. Um, let's see. It can be draining or boosting, revitalizing or emptying, depending on how you assert that emotional energy. Oh, oh excuse me, excuse me. Mm. You'll be health conscious, a little bit more health conscious that day. On this day, You'll feel as if there's been a structure that's turned and things kind of got dark fast. 
and you, you feel naive, a young naive one, you feel naive in a situation. And not necessarily naive, but like, well, you can use naive, like fresh behind, wet behind the ears, a kid, you know, you're, you're always learning. But being naive to a tempting situation that you did turn your back to, and you, you, you've tried finding your light for, and it's up to you if you go back, and if you fall back on your morals. It's all about reflection. <coughs> it's all about reflection. And things will slowly, but surely come back around. It'll be tougher. It will take a little longer, but as long as you move forward, there will be a freedom. There will be a freedom. There will be a, 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 a creative spark. There, there will be some form of spark that will give you a glimpse of understanding that to this day most definitely will be an eye-opening day for sure and that's it that's uh, the 23rd through the 9th so if anybody else is interested in going more in depth please don't be scared hit Aquarian Anarchy and uh, well yeah